Oh, hi, doctor. How are you? I'm doing well. How are well, you? Good. I'm good. How do you yeah. know I'll be speaking to Dr. Tammy Singleton? She's here to talk with us about treating severe hemophilia, how gene therapy can help manage a rare blood disorder. Dr. Singleton, thank you so much for being here. Oh, it is my pleasure to be here. I always love to have an opportunity to talk about these um, rare patients, but a really, really important thing to talk about. Well, tell us, first of all, what is severe hemophilia A? Absolutely. So severe hemophilia A is an inherited or genetic condition um, where most patients are diagnosed within the first year of life, where there is an absence of the factor VIII protein that's required in the bloodstream to have blood clot normally. So patients are missing a factor VIII protein that is needed for blood to clot normally. When this happens, patients are predisposed to very severe bleeding episodes that can occur in any space, but primarily occur in joint spaces, ankles, knees, elbows, shoulders, hips, but patients can also have severe life-threatening bleeding episodes that can occur in a head or a brain, anywhere in a body cavity, affecting an airway. They can occur spontaneously, and they can also occur in association with any trauma or traumatic episode and with a surgical procedure. So what does a typical patient treatment journey look like then? So because patients with living with hemophilia A have the absence of factor VIII protein in the bloodstream, it has to be replaced so that blood can clot normally. Well, so patients have to infuse an IV concentrate that contains the factor VIII protein on a regular schedule to prevent bleeding. They also have to infuse this product into a vein whenever there's a traumatic episode, uh, an accident, or a surgical procedure. Most patients learn to infuse this product at home and usually around the age of seven, that skill is learned and the patients are actually at home infusing this product into a vein. As we speak, there are probably patients who are sitting down preparing to infuse before they go to work, before they go to school. And remember these patients also have to infuse in association with any traumatic event or surgical procedure. So patients can infuse this product and they're doing it twice a week, three times a week, every other day or every day, depending on the patient and depending on the needs and often they have to travel with that product um, because it's not readily available in many hospitals or in locations outside of the United States. I want my, my audience to know that Dr. Tammy Singleton is the Chief Science Officer for the American Thrombosis and Hematosis Network. Doctor, let me ask you this. How does gene therapy for severe hemophilia A, how does this work? So gene therapy, um, the difference between gene therapy and what I just mentioned in terms of those frequent infusions is gene therapy is a single one-time IV infusion that is actually given under the, the monitoring um, and surveillance of a hematologist, an experienced hematologist. This single IV one-time infusion contains the functional factor VIII gene that's typically missing in patients living with severe hemophilia A. When that functional gene is present in the body, there's an opportunity for the release and continuous sustained-like replacement of factor VIII as a protein into the bloodstream. When that factor VIII is replaced into the bloodstream because the, the presence of that functional gene is there, there's an opportunity to have decreased bleeding episodes and many patients don't have the need to continue to use that IV prophylaxis infusion on a regular schedule every day, every other day, twice a week or three times a week. So there's a significant change in the therapeutic needs for that patient. What are the benefits of gene therapy then for that patient? So gene therapy has been demonstrated in trials to be both safe and effective for patients who, who participated in the studies. It's now FDA approved for patients 18 years of age and older living with severe hemophilia A that product is called Roctavian. And Roctavian, again, once a patient receives the product in this single one-time IV infusion, they have an opportunity to have the presence of the functional gene that they were previously missing and an opportunity to have that protein released 
on a more sustained basis into the bloodstream so it can be available on a continuous basis after that single one-time IV infusion. Again, potentially decreasing bleeding episodes and for many patients decreasing the need for those frequent IV infusions that I just mentioned. This is a lot of information, but where can people go and, and, and learn more to be more uh, informed? Absolutely. So patients living with severe hemophilia A, the first place you should always have a conversation about what's right for you will be with your hematologist or at your hemophilia treatment center. There are many of those around the country. In addition to that, you can go to roctavian.com. That's R-O-C-T-A-V-I-A-N, roctavian.com. Dr. Tammy Singleton, I want to thank you for being so informed, and I want to thank you for taking the time to talk to my audience of the Valder BB Show. It's been very informative. It was a pleasure. Thanks for having me. Hi, I'm Valder BB, host of the Valder BB Show. We have over 1,000 videos on ValderBBShow.com and YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. We upload new videos daily. Our site is a modern baby boomer platform with news and information important to boomers. Subscribe to youtube.com slash show and stay connected as I interview the world's most fascinating people.